Welcome to your new Toyota Yaris Hybrid. In this short video, we'll show you how to start your new Yaris Hybrid. First, let's start the engine. You don't need to take the smart key out of your pocket or bag. It just needs to be inside the car. Now check the gear selector is in the parked position. Press your foot on the brake pedal. A key symbol will appear on the display to show the car has recognised your key and is ready to start. And press once firmly on the start-stop button here. The ready light will indicate that the car is ready to drive. Note that the engine may be silent as the hybrid system will use battery power to drive the car if possible. With your foot on the brake pedal, select Drive. If the automatic parking brake mode is selected, it will release by itself as you press the accelerator. Otherwise, push this switch here, down, to release the brake. It's as simple as that. You can drive it like you always have. If you would like to refine the settings, follow the next set of instructions. Once you're on the move, you might want to change the way the car responds to suit different roads or even your mood. The Yaris features drive modes, which change the way the car feels. The default setting is normal. This provides a balance of fuel economy and performance. This mode will be selected whenever you start the car. By pressing this button between the seats once, Power mode is selected. This changes the feel of the transmission and engine to make them more responsive and could be used on a twisty mountain road, for example. The display will show PWR when this mode is selected. Pressing the controller again will put the hybrid system into eco mode. This optimizes fuel economy by changing the way the throttle feels and making the air conditioning more efficient push again and the system will return to normal. This setting does not show on the display. Once you have finished driving, select P with the shift lever, apply the parking brake if auto brake hasn't been selected and press the start stop button. The system will shut down and it's now safe to leave and lock your car. Welcome to your new Toyota Yaris Hybrid. In this short video, we'll show you how to make it fit you perfectly by adjusting the seat, steering wheel and door mirrors. Begin by sitting in the seat and feeling for the controls. To move forwards or backwards, reach underneath your knees and you'll feel a bar under the seat base. Lift it and the seat will slide. Release it to lock it into place. Now feel on the side of the seat here. There are two levers. This one adjusts the height. Pull upwards to raise the seat or push down to lower it. This handle adjusts the seat back. Lift it and lean forward if you'd like to be more upright or push back to be more reclined. You can also raise or lower this armrest. Are you sitting comfortably? Next, let's change the steering wheel position. First, unlock the wheel using this lever on the steering column. Push it down and adjust backwards, forwards, up and down. Once you're happy, lift the lever to lock the wheel into position. Now we'll look at the door mirrors. These are adjusted using this switch on the door. To move the left mirror, twist the joystick anti-clockwise. Then move it up, down, left or right to adjust and give the best view. Then twist the switch clockwise to adjust the right mirror. Your new Toyota has some highly advanced safety systems. In this short video, we'll tell you how to use them to give the most enjoyable and relaxing driving experience. First, 
First, the pre-collision system, which is always active unless switched off. It uses a radar sensor and front camera to detect objects in front of your Toyota. When the system calculates that a collision is imminent, it sounds a warning and flashes a message on the multi-information display. If it determines the possibility of a collision is extremely high and no action has been taken by the driver, the brakes are automatically applied. The automatic braking will be cancelled if the accelerator pedal is pushed hard, the brakes are applied or the driver steers sharply as if avoiding the obstacle. Next, we'll take a look at Lane Departure Alert. This function reads the road markings, alerting the driver when the Yaris seems to be drifting out of lane. A warning is displayed on the multi-information screen here, and a warning buzzer will sound. When adaptive cruise control is being used, the Lane Trace Assist feature will also gently steer to keep it in the centre of its lane. The system won't warn the driver or intervene if the indicators have been activated. You can turn the system off at any time using this button on the steering wheel. The car will remember your preference next time you drive. Next, we'll tell you about the adaptive high beam system. This uses a front-facing camera to assess the light from other vehicles. It then automatically controls the high beam to give the best visibility without dazzling oncoming traffic. First check the headlight switch is in the on or auto position. To activate or deactivate the adaptive high beam system, push this button by the driver's right knee, then push the indicator stalk away from you. A light will show on the display to show the system is active. Now let's look at Road Sign Assist. This helps keep you on the right side of the law by reading specific road signs and warning you if you're breaking the rules. When the camera recognizes a sign, it will be shown on the multi-information display here. The system will flash a warning to remind you of the road sign instruction. Finally, we'll look at the Yaris's full range adaptive cruise control. When set, the car will maintain a set speed until it comes up behind another vehicle. It will then stay at a fixed distance behind until the way is clear. To activate the system, press this button on the steering wheel. Then press this switch down to set the desired speed. You can now adjust it by using the up and down buttons. A symbol will appear on the display to show the system is activated. The car will now hold you at this speed as long as the road is clear. If you want to adjust the distance between your car and the vehicle in front, it can be set by operating this switch on the steering wheel. There are three choices, one, long, two, medium, or three, short. If the vehicle in front is too close and the car can't decelerate fast enough, it will sound a chime to warn you. Your Yaris may also brake automatically. To cancel the system, simply press this button or touch the brake pedal. You can resume the cruise control at the previously set speed by moving the switch up. Enjoy the advanced safety features of your Toyota and drive carefully. Welcome to your new Toyota Yaris Hybrid. In this short video, we'll show you how to pair a phone to your car's Bluetooth for multimedia and use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. First, make sure the Bluetooth pairing on your phone is switched on. Then press the menu button on the Yaris's screen, here. Then select the phone option on the touchscreen display and yes, when asked if you'd like to register a Bluetooth device. A list of the available Bluetooth devices and phones will appear. This could take up to 30 seconds. Choose the phone you'd like to link to your new Yaris. You may be asked to check the pin on the display matches that on your phone. If they match, accept the request on your phone. Now you are paired and ready to make hands-free calls and stream music and podcasts. You can also use Apple CarPlay or Android Auto by connecting your phone with a cable. 
insert the cable to your phone and then into your Yaris's USB socket here. The phone will be linked and the available app icons will be shown on the Yaris's display. Your new Toyota Yaris Hybrid is fuel efficient thanks to its hybrid technology, but eventually you will need to fill it with petrol. In this short video, we'll show you how to open the fuel filler cap. You can see which side the filler is on by looking at the arrow next to the fuel icon on the instrument panel here. To release the filler flap, pull up this lever which is on the floor of the driver's footwell here. The cover is now unlocked. So simply open it and unscrew the cap. You can hang the cap on the back of the filler door here so it doesn't get in the way or cause damage. Once you've finished, simply replace the cap and gently close the filler cover. Your new Toyota Yaris will come with a full washer fluid tank and it will get topped up at every service, but it's likely you'll need to fill it yourself occasionally too. In this short video, we'll show you how to open the bonnet and refill your screen wash reservoir. First, you'll need to open the bonnet. You do this by pulling this release here down by your right shin. Next, you'll need to move around to the front of the car and unlatch the safety catch. You'll be able to feel it above and just slightly to the right of the Toyota badge center here. Push it upwards and lift the bonnet. Now you can hold the bonnet open using this rod. Pull it from the clip here and place it in the gap here. Now we can find the screen wash filler cap. It's just behind the front headlight and is clearly marked with this symbol. Check the instructions on the screen wash bottle to see if you need to add water. In winter, you might need to use it undiluted to stop the fluid freezing. In warmer weather, it can be diluted. If you have a funnel, it will help stop spillages. Pour the contents of the bottle into the reservoir. When the reservoir is full, close the cap. Now hold the bonnet and replace the support rod in its original position, making sure it's clipped in place. Lower the bonnet to around this height and let it drop. It should lock in place. If it doesn't, then gently push on the edge here until you feel it catch. 